that'd, that'd be like a whole like okay. platoon. <laughs> Five, four, three, two, one. <laughs> Alright, we're going to do an overview of assembling the Cinerock 808. The various components are the nose cap, and in the nose cap you can see the 632nd uh, stud mount, or all thread mount, and then you'll see these two um, various standoffs in here that are for threading, if you want to, optionally, a piece of shrouding that goes through the entire camera, if you don't want to use the all thread. Anyway, there is the nose cap, here is the end cap, the end cap has a place for an eye screw, it has a hole for the 632nd all thread, and it has a little notch that allows a shroud line to go between it and the body tube, I'll explain more about that later. This is the camera tray, the camera tray was printed with supports, the supports have been removed, you should have a nice little mount for the camera and on the other side a couple of funnel looking items and a bunch of, of pedestals. This is the camera housing with the fairing and the USB port opening. That's where the indicator light will shine and this is where you'll be pushing through uh, a filament in order to activate the camera. And last but and then you have a optional screw eye. This is a six 30 second nut printed plastic. You're going to need an SD card and you're going to need about six and a half inches of 630 second all thread. This is the mate camera and what we'll start with is uh, disassembly. It does not have the memory card in it yet. So let's take the mate camera apart. There are these two little black screws right at the top here. Do those guys. And the make camera will now come apart with just your fingernail, pry it apart, put that piece aside. There are two little Phillips head screws, silver ones, that are on the inside. Undo those and set them aside. You will be reusing those later. And now the camera should just pretty much lift up out of the remaining case. The camera itself is going to be double stick taped. You're going to need to peel that off. And then remove the little piece of double stick tape. And last, we're going to reposition the battery so that it sits a little higher for when it goes into the camera tray, it fits better. So now the battery. The top of the battery is pretty much aligned with the PC board. Take your camera tray and slide this whole mechanism together like so. It just tucks in underneath, excuse me, it tucks in underneath the two funnels. And it should fit all now flush. You'll see that the base there as the battery is now cleared this back pedestal you bring the camera around and it will just snap in place if you need to if, you, if your print comes out and the camera is still too loose you see these two holes right here you can drill that out with a 5 64th inch drill and put a piece of filament through there and that will help secure the camera even better okay so let's get one of the little silver screws And we're going to put the silver screws into the PC board into these pedestals. In the corners that you'll see there's available holes. You're going to have to force them because the plastic for and the print does not you know, accommodate that. Basically you're screwing them into the plastic. Turn until they're firm. Doesn't have to be too tight, just good and firm. Okay, now you take a little piece of filament with one end flattened and you put it in the bottom pedestal and push it all the way in 
until it's good and firm. That helps to secure the PC board. Now take your SD card and push it in until it clicks so it's good and firm. Tape your fiber optic uh, line. I put a little piece of tape on this in order to give it a little extra friction going into this mount. Push it all the way down until it makes contact with the LED. And then trim it flush. Align the bottom of the camera sled with this notch right here in the end cap. You push it all the way down good and firm so that it's all the way seated. Align the camera with the fairing on the main housing. And it should just drop into place like so as you see. Put your all thread into your nose cap until it's good and firm. Doesn't have to be too tight, but good and firm. And then thread that down through the body of the camera until it comes out the bottom. And take your 632nd nut, plastic nut and then tighten that down and you should be good to go so here you have your USB port of course your camera you have two holes this hole will be the indicator light this hole will be your activation uh, por portal you take a piece of filament and you push it through and it should go down the guide right to the button and as soon as you make contact and the light will come on and start flashing and that means it's recording because we've pre-configured this camera to record on startup so now it's recording video you fly it when you recover it you reach inside with the filament again push down until the button the light stops flashing and you're done to retrieve the video that's on here or to recharge the camera you take your USB cable make sure you get the orientation correctly and it fits right in like so you should see a little light come on in the back indicating that it's charging and it'll also hook up to your computer and allow you to download the video that's on board now if you want to recover the camera by itself there is a opening at the top there's a hole as you can see right here this allows you to put a, a shroud line through it and you'd run a long shroud line down the side and through this groove here and this fits in between the rocket body and the nose cone so that there's hard it reduces the binding there and if you want to recover the the camera and the body together you can take a little screw eye you might need, depending on the screw eye size you use, you might need to heat the tip, the tip up in order to fit it in. But there's a little opening at the bottom here, and you can just you can screw it in. This one was already done, so it doesn't take it's not taking any effort. And now you can attach the booster to the base of the camera using a shock cord, and then of course a parachute that's on a shroud line that comes off the nose cone. If you want to further decorate the um, center rock, you can put yellow tape here, uh, pinstripe tape, and that will give you the appearance of the original center rock. There should be no real reason to have it op to open this back up again. So there you go. You should enjoy your center rock 808, uh, a tribute to Mike Dorfler. And if you have any questions, feel free to contact me. Enjoy.